What's up, everybody? Your boy Flyboy bringing you the good band the oh so ugly. Um, just to bring you some quick TNA news, as you see in the description, Ric Flair says TNA. He said TNA would go out of business a year ago, and I'm just gonna read a little bit on what he said. So bear with. Now, why I do that? Why I pull this up? I'm just gonna say that. TNA is already like my like my partner said is a quote unquote sinking ship. It's it's going downhill. Like they're signing people that we don't really care about. You know what I mean? TNA just needs to fold. And TNA is on Thursday nights, and word around the water cooler is uh, water around the room mill. I heard it through the grapevine. That um ten that WWE is gonna be going back to Thursday nights, but my partner shout out to him. Um, he said that he t- like he said you know TNA comes on at eight. Wait, is it eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TNA comes on at eight. No, it's seven to eight. Whatever, whatever time it comes on, I don't know. But uh, you know, but still though. TNA sucks, you know. So if WWE comes back to Thursday night, they're gonna blow their TNA completely out the water. So this is what Ric Flair said. He said, "Well, in August 2013, while appearing on Stone Cold Steve Austin's show, he was told he told host Stone Cold Steve Austin that TNA would go out of business soon. And while the that hasn't happened yet." Here we are a year later, the company, as we know, Total Non-Stop Action, aka TNA, has, has a network cut, but plans to keep going. I'm not going to read all that right now, I'm going to link you into the, link it in the bottom, put the whole story in the bottom, but that tells you a lot about TNA, that TNA just needs to fold, you know what I'm saying, they just need to fold. I'm about to enjoy this breakfast real quick too. But, um, TNA is going out of business. All you TNA marks, you TNA fanboys, you TNA idiots, you TNA morons that keeps praying that TNA is going to come back and they're going to blow, say, TNA is better than WWE. And to the one idiot, the one man that commented on one of my previous TNA videos said, Oh, you said TNA is going to go back 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2000. To you, you were, you stupid idiot. Show me the video I said that TNA was supposed to go out of business in 2007. I never said that. I used to like TNA back in 2007. I didn't used to, I never watched it, but I used to rock with it when I did look at it, because Sting and Jeff Hart. I, I used to like TNA when it was on pay-per-view. I never ordered it, because it, it was a Wednesday night. Who's going to pay for a pay-per-view every Wednesday night? That's stupid. Your bill's going to be high as crap. But um, TNA's going out of business soon. They already lost their network. You know what I'm saying? They, they resigned the people we don't care about. I mean... Kurt Angle already said he wants to go back to WWE and finish his career. Jeff Hardy said he wants to finish his career in, in WWE. We already know Bubba Ray and, Bubba Ray and Devon already said once Vince McMahon gives him the call, they're gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of time. Once you lose your network, where do you go? And, it, and a lot of and a lot of network and, and another rumor that someone told me that ten that ROH is going to go to Spike. So if ROH goes to Spike TV, where's Go where is uh TN where's TNA gonna go? And they can't go on regular TV like they're gonna have to go on a cable network and they gotta they gotta pick wise because the fall lineups are coming up and, and you know all these you know like the girl in the lip the lip meme they just you know what I'm saying? That that come on TNA <laughs> But yo TNA's going out of business I'm out.